happy to be here today. I've also uh, been an EV driver for about five years. Um, there's only been a couple of occasions where that car didn't meet the needs of me or my family, and it's, it's been a good experiment. I encourage you all to try it. It will probably work for you. Um, just a few things to say about the transportation system in Montgomery County. Behind me is one of our first four uh, all electric buses. This is a, a Proterra bus. It's a light carbon fiber frame bus. It has a range of around 150 miles and it, you'll see it running in the down county area and some of our routes there. We're really excited that we're going to be taking delivery on another 10 electric buses later this year. Uh, and then we have another 44 or so that we're planning to acquire over the next couple of years. And that will make use of the new charging infrastructure that David Dyes is constructing for us at our Silver Spring Depot that's a photovoltaic grid um, to charge those vehicles uh, without relying too much on the overall power distribution system here in the, in the capital region. Uh, that's one piece of the puzzle. The other pieces of the puzzle are the choices that you make when you're traveling. Uh, the best choice you can make is to use an energy-free mode or a mode where you're using your own energy to move you from one place for another, walking or biking, uh, to go to places that are close to you and make those trips without any energy use. Um, we are building more infrastructure, sidewalks, bike paths, uh, and trying to make the existing infrastructure we have safer for you so that you can travel in those ways when you're moving around the county. Secondly, try to take advantage of this transit system. We have one of the largest transit systems on the East Coast here in Montgomery County. Uh, we're second in this region only to WMATA. Uh, there's 80 different routes. There's 400 vehicles uh, that can move you to almost anywhere you want to go in Montgomery County. And it's free, at least through July. So give it a try. See how it works for you. Yesterday, we spent the day traveling by ride on bus. We went from Rockville to um, Shady Grove Station, down to Silver Spring, out to Burtonsville, back to Silver Spring, and back to Rockville, and that was all in half the day. So you can get pretty much everywhere you want to go, and I encourage you to do that. And lastly, there are lots of toys you see out here, scooters and bikes. Um, if the trip is too long for you to pedal it, too long to walk it, try these things. They're pretty fun. Uh, get the class, be safe with it, but these are other ways to extend the range of your low impact trips that you need to make in Montgomery County. As, as was said earlier, transportation is over 40% of the emissions in this county. A very, very small portion of that are the emissions from our county fleet and vehicles. The vast majority of it is our county residents and businesses driving their own cars. So think about that when you're making your next choices for how to travel, and if you're thinking of a new vehicle, uh, think electric. So thank you very much. I'll turn it back to Adriana.